YouTube Kurt Curtis quick video today. I'm gonna to show you the break results of a break that I entered for, it was case break for 2022 Panini Select WWE. Uh, only reason I really entered this break is because I got a lot of wrestlers for very cheap. All the wrestlers I got for three bucks or less, aside from Blair. I ended up having six wrestlers. However, two of them didn't hit anything. I had Blair Davenport, Big E, Dragonoff, China, which I'll show you the cards that I got. And then also I had Alba Fire and Chad Gable, which didn't hit anything. In this particular break, uh, base cards were not being shipped except for rookies. So um, the only base cards I got were Blair Davenport because those are rookies. But aside from that, there's not too many cards. Um, when breakers don't ship base cards, it really doesn't bother me. I don't really care either way. I mean, um, sure, I'll take the base cards if they're going to be shipped. But if not, it's not like a make or break for me. It's not going to prevent me from like joining a break. But it is what it is. Um, not going to slow play anything here, guys. It didn't really hit much, but um, I do enter breaks kind of often. But when I pick up one or two wrestlers, I don't really make a video about it. But when I pick up four or more, I think it's kind of cool to make a video just to show you guys what is possible to be hit or not. And even if the results are bad, like in this one, I still want to showcase it. I don't just want to show the good ones. But yeah, uh, Alba Fire and Chad Gable didn't get anything. If uh, base cards were being shipped, I'm sure I would have got a couple base cards, but nothing from them. Blair Davenport, I got a bunch of base cards, two, three, four, five, only because these are rookie cards. So if, if this wasn't a rookie card, um, I wouldn't have gotten anything. Big E, got a silver, a ringside. Ringsides are technically base cards, but you know, I think everyone knows that they're not really treated as a base card. So obviously we got the ringsides. That'd be pretty shitty if they didn't ship ringsides, but yeah, big E ringside. And then a light blue on a 2.99. So not too bad on big E, probably was the, like the most hits I got. Dragon off. Got a ringside that's pretty cool looking and also a light blue out of 299. And then China, the only thing I got was a tricolor. So yeah, um, I don't really buy big superstars and breaks guys for the most part. I try to pick up Blair Davenport if it's a reasonable price. And then just anyone else if it's like, I mean, $3, $2 for a wrestler in a case break, like, you know, even, as long as you hit like, you know, something like this, you make your money back and then, you know, anything extra, um, anything else is bonus. So like, you know, the $3, I think for the big E spot, like this was totally worth it. But um, I, I'm aware it's just for fun. Breaks are just for fun. But wanted to show you guys the results of this, just so you can get an idea of how a break can go, whether it be good or bad. Thank you guys for watching. As always, until next time.